Hey YouTube, it's your girl T. So she can I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, hey friend, like, subscribe, comment, and share this video, and let's get right into it. Okay, now that I've showered, I am going to brush my teeth. sensitive and I just kind of want to share that story with y'all so um, when I like I have molds which I gradually started liking probably a couple years ago so what happened was the reason I started liking them and it's a crazy reason why I started liking them because we don't like stuff until somebody else validates it for us which is stupid but that's what we do so I, I was I didn't start seeing my molds until college and when I saw him, I was like, what is this? Like, bruh. So one day I decided to go out to dinner with just me, myself, you know. I went to dinner and I was sitting out at the restaurant and I had this waitress. She's a Caucasian girl. And she came up to me and she was like, can I take your order? And when I looked up, she was like, oh my God, I freaking love your freckled moles. Like, Oh my God, like she was just going like crazy about them. And I was just looking at her like, girl, what's wrong with you? Like, why would you want moles in your face? Like, why would you want a clear face? And she just was going on about, oh my God, I love them. And she was like, I literally draw moles on my face because I just love how y'all, you guys are so unique. And then like, after that, I started liking them because of validation. So I got in the car when I was leaving, you know, now that she done said it, you know, I'm sitting there eating my food and I'm just getting a little camera standing looking at them. So when I got in the car, you know how you got your little rear view mirror up? I'm steady looking at him. And I'm like, he seems kind of cute and different. And ever since then, I just fell in love with him. So now, um, I really like him because I do get compliments on him a lot. But I don't know why people like moles. But I mean, it does give you a unique look. Um, so I started taking better care of my skin. Like, this is my first facial ever today. Um, so I started buying like the products. I did fancy skin. Like I, my skin is sensitive, so I'm kind of scared to use certain things. So I tried this. It didn't break me out. Um, I also tried the fat water. I'm not a fan of her fat water because um, it gives like a sticky residue to me. Like I don't know. I'm not a sticky residue. But um, and then the moisturizer I ran out of that one because I really like it gives your skin like a glow look. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face with. The Fitzy Skin Cleanser, it does make your face feel really, really good. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit in my hand. Go ahead and suck it up and we're apply it to the face. And I'm just going to make sure that's spread evenly throughout my face. I just added some water to get a little more sudgy. Make sure I apply it to the neck. And to do a circular motion, all over my face. I try not to get it in my eyes, y'all. <laughs> yep. Okay, then I'm gonna wash my hands off. And then I'm going to wash this off. I don't let it sit after I apply it. I think it works immediately, so I just go ahead and start washing it off. And I'm making sure that I get all of it. So I do wash it. Well, I do put a lot of water on my face um, several times. Make sure I get the neck area. Okay. 
turn the water off and then I am looking for a dry little washcloth so that I can gently pat my face. I'm not wiping it, I'm just patting it. I'm just letting the water soak inside of the rag or the washcloth, whatever y'all call it. Checking out the skin, <laughs> you know, you know. And now I'm going to apply Witch Hazel. I love the TN Dickinson Witch Hazel. I use it every day. As you can see, I am running low. So I put it on a napkin, paper towel, and then I apply it to my face. And I do around my nose, the side of my face, my lips, my forehead. Um, this, this Witch Hazel, they say is for like, it is for the face. I used to be so scared to like use everything on my face. Then I use the Eucerin. I just use a little small piece and it's the advanced repair. So I go ahead and get that portion and put it on my face in the circular motion as well. I try not to go downward, but I do sometimes. Um, but I was told that you should do circular motions lifting upward on your face. So I'm trying to lift it upward. But we have habits that we just, and I have to get the neck as well. And yes, yes. And we're done. Okay, so I'm walking to the kitchen, about to go ahead and get me a cup of coffee. Um, go ahead and put this in. This is French vanilla, and yes, it is great value. We saving coins over here. Tastes just the same. Go ahead and close that down. Grab me a cup. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And then once I'm able to, I will turn on the blue one. So you see the blue light? I click the smallest cup. Because this cup is not that big. And then I just stand back and wait for it to finish up. Which does not take that long. I am a new coffee drinker, so y'all bear with me. I'm, I think I'm grown, grown now because I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. So it's about done. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Um, I have to have something that's going to take away that coffee taste. So I love the Coffee Mate, the Funfetti. Um, I normally use this syrup, but sometimes it's too sweet. So um, I do like this Funfetti. It makes it taste better. And then I do use a generous amount because I have to drown out that coffee taste. And then I'm going to grab something to stir that up so I can get all of that mixed in together. Um, make sure I don't taste the coffee. Smooth it out a little bit. And once I get that done, that's about it. Okay, so that is my routine for the morning with my facial and coffee. work, make this money, um, stay tuned. of the place it's just so peaceful so relaxing um i just love all the plants the flowers the decor very peaceful so since this is my first visit i have to fill out some questions um just for safety reasons um and it's just asking questions about you know am i allergic to anything my facial routine all that good stuff i'm gonna put this wrap on so you can get undressed um, top to like waist to up, okay. So, or whatever is comfortable to you, okay. You can put this on and you'll put it, wrap it in the front, it'll snap in the front for you, and then you can just get under the covers. Whenever you're ready, all right, head this way, all right. And then, um, you can hang your jacket and put your belongings in that basket, right.
So this is the part where she's um, unclogging your pores, making sure that any of the sebum or excess dirt and all of that stuff that's clogged up is removed. And she's also extracting at some point. I'm back from getting my facial and when I say my skin feels so freaking good like it's so smooth and just your girl ain't washing her face tonight mm -mm, not at all but um the experience was like so freaking dope um y'all seen everything um y'all seen the majority of everything but the experience was so dope. Like, she was very professional. Um, it was very affordable. Uh, I mean, of course, if it's up here, you're gonna pay this up here. Um, oh, I just can't stop touching my face, honey, because it is like so smooth. Um, one thing that she did tell me, so y'all know, I showed y'all my morning care routine and how I put the Fenty products, and then I do the witch hazel, and I do all of that. She was like, and it's just start with a witch hazel. And I was like, people were telling me that's what I should have used, and that I've been using ever since. And she was like, start with a witch hazel. And basically, like all of her clients, when they first come to her, they tell her that they're using witch hazel as well. And she tells them the same thing. So I'm gonna have to stop with the witch hazel in my routine. She gave me some samples. I am gonna purchase the full products from her, but she wants me to, before I can even purchase, she wants me to try them out first. So, I'm excited. I will keep y'all updated on the journey. I have another appointment in two weeks. So I wanna keep y'all updated on how things go, but just to see like my clog pores and all that extra stuff. Girl, I think I'm real there this right now. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so until next time, don't let the devil use you. He ain't your friend. I'm just saying, I'm Teak So Chic, and I'm signing off.